Some things are better on paper, and some things are overhyped. This may be a mix of both. The Tiger Tank. Hi, I'm Enigma, and today we're reassessing the effectiveness of the Tiger One, separating fact from fiction behind one of the most iconic tanks of World War II, and possibly ever. The Tiger One was a German heavy tank developed by Henschel and Son during World War II. Development began in 1938 and it was first deployed in North Africa in 1942. Although the Tiger One was considered formidable by the soldiers of the time, it has been recognized as over-engineered and prone to mechanical issues, made it less reliable in the field. At first glance on paper, the Tiger One appeared impressive. Equipped with the infamous 8.8cm KWK cannon derived from the Flak 36, providing it with a powerful and effective weapon, its over 100mm thick armour was also a standout feature. However, in practice, it leaves a bit on the table. Recently, as the History Channel shifted its focus from glorifying the Wehrmacht to ancient aliens, the fascination of the Wehrabus with German military hardware has waned, allowing for a more realistic assessment of the Tiger One. The Tiger One was notoriously over-engineered for its time, using expensive materials and labour-intensive production methods, which made it difficult to mass-produce and costly to maintain. It was twice expensive as the Panzer IV, and only about 1,300 units were built due to its high price. It was prone to mechanical issues with the durability of the tracks and the weight of it generally. This meant that it struggled to cross less stable ground, such as a swampy marshes and some bridges which it could just fall through. Additionally, when it was deployed in the Eastern Front, the overlapping wheels, which rubbed together very closely, tended to attract mud. And this mud, when the notoriously cold Eastern Front had a freeze over, the mud would freeze together like concrete and jam the wheel so it wouldn't be able to move. The Tiger One was a technique technological marvel of its time, but ultimately a mixed bag in practice. Its powerful armament and thick armour made it formidable, but its complexity, high production costs and mechanical issues often hampered its effectiveness. While impressive on paper, the tank's design faced numerous practical challenges in the harsh realities of warfare. Thanks for watching, and a big shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to join me for more content as I've got plenty of exciting videos planned. Also, feel free to join my Discord server, I'd love to see you there.